What's up guys, it's Sam here, I hope you're well, and I'm going to start by saying I'm so sorry it's taken me this long to make another video. It actually takes quite a long time to make these kind of things, and um, yeah, work's got in the way and it's been a bit of a nightmare, so thank you for your patience. I've had a lot of requests through for a video about the seat. Uh, this is a seat that I put on the bike last summer, so I've had a bit of riding time with it. Um, so I'll give you an overview of so why I made the decision that I made on the seat, what I was looking for, and how it handles, how I've had a bit of time with it, and, and what I think of it. So, this is the, the stock seat. Perhaps for those of you that haven't uh, got a 48, you're looking at getting one, this is the kind of seat you're going to get as stock. This bike uh, is a 2015 model. They changed the seat in 2016, so it depends on the type or the year you're going to be getting. But either way, they're, they're quite similar. So... It's actually not that bad for a Harley seat. It's made of vinyl, you get a bit of a texture on the top and flat on the side. Pretty comfortable, um, but I wanted something that had a lot more character. If you're going to upgrade parts on your, your Sportster, the seat really is a must. It gives a much better visual focus on a bike um, and it helps kind of change the profile of the way that you sit. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, it was something that I, I wanted to do. So, key things for me. I wanted to get a leather seat. A lot of seats uh, that you get aftermarket, things like La Pera, La Rossa, um, are vinyl. You can get leather options, but they tend to be expensive and difficult to get. But I really wanted a leather one. I wanted the character, the fact that it can, it can age and change and uh, just give that authentic, kind of old school look. I also wanted to get a brown leather seat. I put a lot of thought into this. I've got a black bike. I like the Knights to styling, but for me, I wanted something that broke the black up a little bit, and I like the combination between black and brown. I was at a classic bike show in London um, a couple of months ago. Great bikes, uh, kind of cafe racers, Harley Davidsons, Triumphs, um, a, a whole different kind of mix, BS8s, and quite a few of them had that kind of black and brown seat combination, which just looked really classic, really cool, and I wanted to, to mirror that. So. I looked around for a long time and I ended up going with this. This was a seat made by a company called Mother Road Custom. They're based on Route 66 in California, I believe. And I found them online, but there was very little reviews about the company or about the seats that they make. This was called a Bobber Bates uh, seat, which is kind of based on a classic styling. It's made of veg tan leather and uh, the pictures look great, so I thought, Do you know what, I'll take a punt. It was, I think, $279 for the seat. I also got a mounting kit, which is about $150, uh, with import taxes that we have to pay in the UK for US product. Um, for those of you in the UK, it worked out, I think it was about 350 quid uh, all in, maybe coming up to, to 400 quid. Um, so, what do I think of it? The, the seat, first of all, the first thing that hits you is it feels really quality. You've got a solid steel base plate. It's heavy and weighted and just feels well put together. Edge tan leather looks great. When you kind of press it, you get a change in the, the colour, so it's got some variance, and I really like that. And the styling was just what I wanted. Really, really pleased. Classic look. There were some things that uh, I wasn't particularly pleased about. Love the carpet on the back. You get this with a lot of a pair of seats, helps protect the paint on your frame. But the carpet originally came up right to the edge of the seat, so you saw it when the bike was uh, uh, kind of set up from behind. And they used this horrible plastic glue to stick the carpet on rather than stapling or riveting it on. And that glue was visible on the scene. So I cut the carpet back and I used a bit of WD 40 with a microfiber cloth to clean it up thought it looked a lot better. The terminal problem with this particular seat was that unfortunately you can see here it arrived damaged. There's a tear in the leather and frankly that's just unacceptable on any seat but when you're spending that kind of money um, really isn't very good and disappointing that that got through quality control. However, I got in contact with Mother Road Customer Services and within 24 hours they'd offered to send me a brand new seat free of charge and said I could keep the old seat. So great customer service. Um, I think UK companies, maybe we could learn a lot from the, from the US, that's fantastic. So I installed this on the bike. Let me show you what that looks like. 
So here we go. Now the mounting kit is very simple. It is a very basic bracket which attaches through a bolt to the base of the tank. You also get a leather base plate so when the seat is down you can see there's actually a gap here. We've got to stop water getting into, uh, into the electrics box um, so they give you this. Now it was described as leather, there is no way on earth this is leather, it's, it's a plastic mock-up. Um, and it's gone brittle like cardboard as you can see which is just horrendous so I will be changing this for a kind of fabric type um, you know proper kind of cloth almost leather uh, to, to, to do a better job and uh, there are also these kind of rubber bungs which should attach on the side and I'll show you why I haven't done that in a sec so all in all the mounting kit is very simple $150 for that is outrageous and frankly if I had the ability or the skill to, to make these kind of parts I would definitely uh, have opted for that rather than than buying it but you know I just wanted to get it all done in in one go and I guess that's probably what a lot of, the, uh, a lot of other people think so the problem with the, the seat uh, is when you lower the seat down you are given two of these rubber bungs which should attach here and here these are for mounting to a spring kit or you can use this which is the the hard mounted frame kit but when you lower it down they don't actually hit anything. There's all this gap here. Even with the rubber bungs on, it's just floating in midair. So what happens is all the pressure sits on this point, all the pressure of the seat. Now the reason I put the rubber mount here is it gives it a, a bigger surface area and actually it's, it's quite well uh, sprung so it just helps with the, the softness of the seat. And actually that's worked okay for me. I'm gonna try and do something here to give the seat a bit of support on the side but I've ridden it about a thousand miles at least uh, like this and it's been absolutely fine. So comfort, I took the seat to France, uh, I rode seven days in the rain and the sun and the seat was fantastic, it's got a really nice profile to it, um, you can see your ass sits very firmly uh, within it, um, there's a, a nice amount of padding but it still is able, uh, even at the lowest point, but it still is able to uh, give you a good amount of support. Really, really like it. When the seat was wet and I sat on it and rode about 200 miles on it, it didn't stretch the leather at all. And I've just been using a bit of uh, kind of natural, clear shoe polish with a soft cloth and buffing that off maybe once a month just to keep the leather nice and supple. Um, and it's worked an absolute treat. It's very low. You sit very low on the bike, which is perfect. It's just what I want. And width-wise, the seat was described as 12 inches wide. In actual fact, it is 10 and a half inches wide. But I'm okay with that. If it was any wider, it would be bigger than the frame of the bike, which might look a bit tractor-esque. Um, so I am happy with the way that this is. I'll compare the original that I got that I haven't used to the, uh, the one that I've had on the bike for the best part of a year I would say and I've probably ridden about a thousand maybe a little bit more miles on it you can see there's perhaps a little bit of lightning but that's also natural variation in the leather of the seat um, so it's held up very well so all in all I would highly recommend Mother Custom uh, as uh, a seat just check the quality of the uh, the leather when you put it on and make sure that uh, there aren't uh, there isn't any damage there but if it's a good seat when you you put it on the quality is shown here by its durability, you know, I've had this for quite a long time, uh, a lot of riding and it's holding up fine. So I'll let you know how that goes as I continue to ride. So I'm doing a little bit more work on the bike. I have uh, put some white wall paint on the, uh, the Harley logos on the tyres uh, as an alternative to white wall. So let me know what you think of that. I'm looking at replacing the headlight at the moment, which is why it looks a, a little bit of a mess. I'm going to be making uh, a few modifications to this over this winter, the next couple of months. Um, in particular, I want to get rid of this uh, number plate mount on the back. It just looks awful with all this plastic, so I want to uh, do something that's a little bit simpler. Uh, it may still be a rear mount, possibly a side mount. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to get rid of these stock indicators, and I'm also thinking, what can I do with the bars at the front? Maybe some drag bars with some nice grips. 
um, just to give it uh, a fresher look. So if you're interested in seeing me working on those projects, I'm going to be doing some videos on those, so please subscribe, add any comments or thoughts of things I've done on the bike that you maybe want me to, to give you an overview of or any ideas that you would have of what you'd like to see me do. And I'll be more than happy to, to read those comments, um, answer any questions that I can, um, and continue making some videos of, uh, of this evolving project. So I hope this has been useful, guys. Let me know what you think of, uh, of the seat. Happy to answer any questions you have. Cheers.